Now on the news at 10, we're following developments in that Gilgo Beach investigation. Police now mulling the release of tapes and audio. News 12's Kevin speaking with Suffolk's top cop tonight. Kevin, tell us what that commissioner has to say. Yeah, Mackenzie, Suffolk Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison is saying that audio and video evidence in this case could be released if it's determined that it will help in the investigation. You know, up until now, evidence in this case really has only been let out in small dribs and drabs. But if this were to happen, it could represent an opening of the floodgates. If we do share any information, be it video or audio, can it help us be able to possibly identify who our person of interest is or can it hinder the investigation. So That's the question being asked by Suffolk Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison, who may release audio and video evidence, including Shannon Gilbert's 911 call, in an effort to spark new leads in the Gilgo Beach murder case. Anytime you could uh, share an audio or a video to the public, um, people may uh, know about something in the background or hear something that can kind of uh, bring some type of awareness or evidence to the investigation. Uh, that's the reason why I, I think being transparent is very important. It's, I think, critical for the public to assist the police at this time. John Ray is the Gilbert family attorney who has been pushing for the release of her 911 call for years. He says the police commissioner told him in January or February that the tapes would be made public. I'm encouraged by Commissioner Harrison's position that he took that he would release those tapes. And I am just awaiting the moment when it occurs. When it occurs, the public will be shocked. Shannon's disappearance led police to uncover 10 sets of remains along Ocean Parkway in 2010, all believed to be the victims of a serial killer. Gilbert's body was found a short time later. No arrests have been made. Harrison says his top investigators are now reviewing that evidence and determining if it can be made public. Uh, we're still evaluating it, and uh, well, we'll if, if possible, we'll get it out uh, uh, hopefully sooner than later. All right, Kevin. Well, we obviously know that it's still up in the air if it is released. Did he give a timeline on when exactly we could expect to hear or see that? So, no, Mackenzie, he did not give an exact timeline on that, though we do know that Commissioner Harrison is calling this case a top priority. In fact, he recently set up a task force with the FBI and other law enforcement agencies in an effort to try to find the killer. Mackenzie.